Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to add a wet dry control to any effect in Ableton Live. So we're going to start out with an effect that has no wet dry. I'm just going to dial something in. So we can hear this. Right, so I want to be able to mix in the dry and the wet using this. So conventional thinking would be like, oh, okay, so you create a group and then you have your chain here. You go wet, this one's wet, right click, create chain, and this one will be the dry. So we'll rename that to dry. And then you'll uh, hit your macro here, right? Right click, uh, map to macro one, right click here, map to macro one. And uh, we will hit map. We'll go up here and uh, we will invert one of these ranges. So as you move up, it will uh, kind of cycle between um, these two things. So we'll just check that out here, right? So yeah, it's at, it's at plus six, but this is just the wrong way to go about it. So we'll have our wet. And as we increase to go to the dry, it'll crossfade in a weird way. Right, so, okay, that doesn't work. So what do you do now? All right, well, let's start again. So I'm gonna move our Redux out of there and then cut. So uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing basically the same thing, but using chains. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little feature. So you right click here and you go group and you'll hit this guy here and then this guy here. So all the, all, all those are uh, selected. We uh, right click here, we create chain. We right click on the first chain just for the sake of naming and this will be wet. This is the wet, the uh, redux signal. Down here is the dry, so we'll go dry. All right, coolio. So we're gonna hit this magical little button here called chain. And uh, we're going to drag these both out right to the end, 127. Drag this out to the end, 127. And then we are going to drag this top white part. It's kind of difficult to see, but mouse over, move that over, and you'll see that little blue part. What it's doing is it will kind of crossfade linearly. We'll grab this guy here of the dry signal and drag that all the way over there. So now we have like a linear or more of a like a better sounding crossfade between them by uh, dragging this top part. Right, and it's pretty cool because now we don't have that weird dip in the middle. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll right click on top of here and then map to macro one. And this is the chain selector. We'll just rename this to it slash dry and uh yeah if you're feeling adventurous you can uh, just save this or hit this little save icon and save this as a uh, template so you can add things in here and always have this ready to go and uh just to kind of see move that over and uh we can switch between wet dry and it sounds like a proper uh wet dry I'll just accentuate that a little more. We can have it about there, and that sounds great. Okay, uh, hope you guys learned stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and have a good one.